Hey everyone, it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back here today with day number two of our five days of Valentine's hairstyles. If you guys did not check out the last video, please do check it out because this one is just an extension of that one. These hair looks that I'm going to do today are good for short locks, medium length locks, or long locks. So if you have short locks, do refer to the first video before you then begin to do this one. Um, but this video, I'm basically styling my hair in different styles and adding accessories, as you see right here, which is one of my favorites, to these hair looks. So these are great styles that you can try for Valentine's Day, whether you have a date, whether you're going out to have fun with your friends. These are great for you all. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I had so much fun filming it. And do check out to see what we have here in store. Do stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe to this channel because we have much more hair looks to go. We have actually looked, well, day three, four, and five left. So those are great, great looks that are going to be coming up soon. So you definitely do want to stay tuned. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get on to the looks. Alright, so as I mentioned in the previous clip, this hairstyle is basically trailing off of our last hairstyle that I posted just recently. <laughs> so you're going to take out your updo and split it in half. Here I am going to twist my hair forward and over, secure it with a pin, and do the same with the other side. Here I don't really mind that my locks are sticking up in random places because later on I'm going to just secure it down just to make sure that everything is smooth. Now I'm going to pin each piece of hair down on its opposite ends and this creates what looks like a crown. Of course you go back and tuck in the stray hairs. You can pin it or you can just tuck it in. Either way will be fine. This is what it should look like. So I have this beautiful interesting piece right here. This is an Indian um, hair accessory and I am just going to embellish my hairstyle by slipping it on. There are two combs that make it very easy and I think this look is great. It's a great look for a formal affair if you're going out for dinner. Um, yeah, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful look. What do you think? Okay, so if you're not really into the previous head wrap, you can try something like this. This is a more plain option. Um, this actually came from a different piece of... Um, this is actually not a head, head wrap initially, but I'm just using the head wrap piece part, the jewelry, and pinning it down with two bobby pins. And here is what it looks like close up. I love this look. It really gives a beautiful, exotic look. Alright, so the next look, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to split your hair in half and crisscross each part. Of course, you go in and secure the locks that are astray. This is what it should look like. Now you're going to take the stray hairs, loosely twist it to the front, and secure it down with a bobby pin. Now with those ugly stray hairs, you're going to swoop it to the side and secure it down with a pin. And this gives a nice pompadour look. Of course, you go in and fix it to your liking. That is what it looks like. I love this head wrap. This is a beautiful floral head wrap that you can just put right on to your liking and it really beautifies the entire hairstyle. I like to think that it gives me a jazzy effect. What do you think?
Look number three is going to be a different look. You're going to split the pieces in half. And here I am twisting one side and pinning it down. This is going to look almost like your space buns that you see all over here on YouTube. I go in on the other side and do the very same thing, tucking in the stray hairs and making sure each bun is fastened with bobby pins. You can add as many bobby pins as you wish. Of course you can wear your hair like that, but what I'm doing here is adding in an extra bobby pin to pull them together and secure them down. This is what it looks like. Okay, so what you can do with this hairstyle is add your favorite headband. Here I have a beautiful embellished headband that I love, laced with lace texture and beading. Okay, so one of my favorite looks is this look right here. Here I am pulling the hair together um, Crisscrossing it and securing each side with a bobby pin. Well, actually, no, I'm not crisscrossing, but I'm crisscrossing to one side and securing it to make sure that all the hair leans on one end of my face. Now I'm grabbing all of that hair and swooping it around the bun. Of course, I tack down the end piece with a bobby pin, and this gives a luxurious swoop. Now you can jazz up this swoop by adding in a beautiful floral headpiece like this. I love this. This gives a nice airy, spring-like look. I mean, I love it. It really, it really has a lot of character. All right, so there are the looks. How did you like them? Which one are your favorites? If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you did not subscribe yet, then what are you waiting on? <laughs> we have so many more great looks coming up for Valentine's Day. Stay tuned. I have three more days of Valentine Day, uh, Valentine hair looks coming up. So you definitely do want to stay tuned and watch out for those. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Comment down below which ones are your favorites. If you have a favorite hairstyle that you love to do and they were not mentioned here in this video, do share with us. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.